Today's last 16 shootout matchup as the town series continues. Introducing next a man who has dominated this series, winning the first three events and then an emotional win last time out in Manchester. At his best, he is unstoppable. He is the Welsh wizard, Jordan Shepherd. <laughs> And his opponent didn't even know he was playing until this morning. <laughs> a very late call-up indeed. A local favourite who is here to make a point. Give a warm welcome, please, to John Joe Sharkey. Almost there for the afternoon session. And we'll reconvene at eight o'clock for that. It's a good match to finish as well. John Joe Sharkey is a really good player. Um, plays very attacking. Uh, plays quite a similar sort of style to probably Jordan Shepard, to be honest. He's probably just a, you know, I think Jordan Shepard's a slightly better version of, of John Joe, but they play a similar style. Both ultra aggressive, play quickly. Should be a really interesting match. He's got the home crowd behind him. Sheppy's got no one but his uh, no one but his missus with him. This is a lucky charm at the last one though. A dry break from Jordan. There you go, John Joe. Yeah, opportunity first off. Nothing to lose, has he? Nothing to lose. No more hair to lose. No comment. Takes one to no one. Yep. Glass houses and all that. No, he's got this. You see now, I think he'll play the plant. And if he could bring the white up towards the centre of the table, but needs to leave himself an angle on the yellow right in the very centre of the table, um, just, of, just above where your blue spot would be. And uh, he can use that to dislodge his... his is bad ball. Got the perfect angle. You can see that there from that camera angle. Needs a bit of luck here because he's not necessarily guaranteed to be on anything else once he goes into it. But big shot, and if this comes out good, that's all right. That's not bad. Could it could be a lot worse. Quite difficult to control the white after. I don't know how much he can dig into this. Wow, the generous pockets. That new cloth just slid in there, but it's a good shot from John Joe. Can he hold this? Rakes and rakes of side. Drag it in, maybe. Yeah, see what he's trying. Oh, that's too much. Too much, that's a disaster. Absolute disaster. Mm. That's perfect. Effortless from Jordan Shepherd.
perfect position from Jordan Shepard. He's uh, one mistake from John Joe Sharkey. He's been punished. As you would expect. Just about reached there from Jordan. 1-0 and no time at all. It'll be John Joe to break next. Yeah, you can't do that. Well, you, you can't redo really that in this shootout series. You certainly can't do it against that guy. That's the end result. I think when you've got somebody who's, you know, pretty much everyone's an underdog against Jordan, but the first frame's even more important for the underdog because Jordan wouldn't be sort of panicking if he went 1-0 down. I'm sure John Joe's not panicking either, but it's just so much more important for, for him to get off the mark. Massive that's break. a break and a half. Oh. Massive break. What's he on? The reds at first glance look. Oh, there are two, two potable reds. I think his hardest red's going to be the first one. Just yeah. slightly awkward queuing. Just, just jab it a little bit. Make sure, make sure you don't double hit it. No, it's like a practice drill. Yeah, just, just needs to leave himself an angle to come down table. The red at the bottom of the table will be his last ball before the black. No silly mistakes. I don't know if, I don't know if he's doesn't want to be flicking this red after he the red next to the one he's going to play now. It's all right, he's fine. Oh, he's no. missed it. So he's just trying to cheek the pocket because he was scared of flicking that red. Um, it, it didn't, he wouldn't have missed that if that was the black and you know an open play. That's a hundred out of a hundred for him. But he was just trying to cheek the pocket to, to, to and it was the shot before that that was the problem. at leaving himself a gap to play the yellow between the two reds. I think he might have to sort of turn it over with a bit of right inside. He's just going to have to leave himself a long long yellow, I think. I don't think he can get into it enough to screw it, no. So, test of queuing. If you hit them soft, we see the pockets taken, but if you hit them at pace, they don't. sort of stun that and, and he needed the white to be three four inches further up the table so he could just stun the red in and, 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 and come up into this gap for the red into the bottom left corner but look at the double well that's just reckless he's looking at the double to try and open the pocket up but he's just yeah that's it so he's just throwing the frame away It's not the best shot he's ever played. Oh dear. I mean, Early nerves, might be maybe. The worst. You're against the guy that sort of looks unstoppable in this format. You know, and you're only in this last night as well, last minute kind of thing, so you've got to feel for him a little bit. Well if he if he's gonna be playing shots like that, he'll he'll, he'll lose five nil. Can't believe he's got down and played that, honestly.
better You're up than against he is. one of the best players, if not the best player in the tournament. You can't do that. No, you can't. There's such a small margin of error as well because you've only got something a race to five. In better news though, Reading nicked a 98th minute winner. They didn't, did they? They did indeed. Oh, my word. They did indeed. Now, Jordan Shepard's gone in off the break there. And uh, John Joe's going to be in first again. Now he's got a free, he's got a free ball, first shot, so he can do what he wants. Now, if he's got any chance of winning this match, he has to win this frame. He has to. Jordan Shepard doesn't lose from three 0 up in a race to five to anybody in this format. Where's he gone? Needed that cue ball to slow up about eight, ten inches short of that and wanted to play a play the red into that top right hand corner pocket. Just getting from bad to worse really here for John Joe. Looking to play a containing safety. No, no he's not. Oh wow. Oh. Wow, John Joe. Wow. Well, Clever shot though, he sort of almost played it as a shot to nothing. That stopped the head shaking. That's a great shot. Can he capitalise that? Here we have another look at this. That's a really tough shot. In fact, I'm talking nonsense. That was a full blooded. There was no shot to nothing there. Because no. he just snooked himself on the ball he's on now. It's incredible. It's a great shot from Tap of the shot. thigh from his opponent, Jordan Shepherd. He'll appreciate this clearance. Can he see it through though? Assuming it's, it goes into the right middle pocket, this should be 2-1. I'm not quite sure if he's got a full pocket, but surely after that double he can't miss this. What a finish. That's a brilliant dish from John Joe Sharkey after what happened in the previous frame. That's terrific. Late call-up. He'll feel he's arrived now. I think might help John Joe as well is they're they're quite good mates off the table. So I think there might be a little bit less of the intimidation factor, if, if you know what I mean, because you're quite pally off the table. Yeah. That might help him if anything. Yes, that we know oh blimey I'm playing Jordan Shepherd. No, not really. You know, they've played each other plenty of times before. It's made a couple of balls. Oh, they're all following them. Look at the reds. Look at the reds. It couldn't be much easier. No. What do you make of the shoes? Um, are they shoes? Oh, don't start that. <laughs> well, they're not cakes. What, are they a slipper? Are they kind of slipper meets moccasin? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> With a bit of frill? Oh, I've had enough of this. <laughs> I've never understood the, the two little tassels that no. hang off of the shoes. No, I've, I've, I've never got it. Oh, he's got this clearance for 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, I don't know if he's... Um, he wants to ideally come down table if he can. I don't know if he's too straight. So if he top three going off, but... He's all right. Needs to stun across. Yeah, you this can over hit this. There was still a capacity to mess this up, you know. Yeah, you can over hit, you can under hit this or, or flick the yellow. He's oh, well flicked done. the yellow, but he's got, he's got away with it. No, it just needs to. Um, this is delicate. Yeah, because he needs to play on this into the to the bottom left corner, really. I mean, he can screw back, actually, in and off the side cushion. 
and play it. But if he plays it the first way you suggest, he needs to be careful he's not kind of straight-ish. You can't overhit it. No, he's underhit it. There you go. That's exact. That's exactly what I was talking about. Yeah, he knows his stuff. I could see that. I could see that coming see because I played that shot myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, John Joe. Well, I, I think the double's the shot here. No, he's going for the double. It's there. It's there. Well played. Brilliant recovery. What a response from John Joe. 2-2 two, two against the defending champion. And literally in what, six, seven minutes, he's gone dry break from Jordan. Uh, not dry break, he was in off, wasn't he? And um, John Joe's cleared up and then he's broken, finished himself. Jo Jordan's in all sorts of trouble here. The test. All of a sudden, Jordan Shepard's got his angry face on. Backs in. Oh! <laughs> That's one way to do it. Oh no, he wins the frame. He does. That's frame. Oh wow. That's frame to Jordan Look Shepherd. At his face. A little conference about the I rules. Don't, I don't think John Jay knows either. No. I don't think he knows that in this shootout. Because normally in black ball rules, if a black goes in, you set them up again. Well, that was only introduced for the last event in Manchester. <laughs> no. The DJ certainly doesn't know because the, the, the end of frame music hasn't gone off. Wow. Jordan knows. He was smiling straight at him. Yeah. That's one way to stop the rot. Perfect break. The golden break. <laughs> A little bit of confu confusion, the, the DJ, he's, he's playing this event for the first time, he, he wouldn't have known that rule. No, true. He's responsible for firing the music, that alerts the crowd to what's happened. Look at the break there from John Joe, not enough though. Oh, that is harsh. Harsh as you like. How things can turn. I mean, we could literally be about three minutes from, from, from going from two each to oh, four. This is two. great. <laughs> this is great. This is, in a nutshell, what this shootout's all about. Ooh. Twists and turns and... Exactly what it's about. Look at these reds. They're almost unmissable. Well, this is why Jordan Shepard is so tough to beat. The momentum, the impetus was all with John Joe Sharkey. And in what, 90 seconds? He's lost two more. Harsh. Really, really harsh. Now, look at <laughs> Jordan's not one to... <laughs> Hide his emotions. It, when he's angry, when he's behind, and he's a smiling, he's a smiling, arrogant piece of work when he's ahead. But that's what makes him box office. Really, he doesn't care. He, like, he likes rubbing his opponents up the wrong way as well. I've played him before. I've honestly played John Shepard before, and uh, I've beaten him a couple of times. He's beat me more times than I've beaten him. When he's ahead of me, he will say to me, he will mutter to, because we're mates as well. It makes it even worse. He'll mutter to me, you're rubbish, you're rubbish. <laughs> Honestly, he's horrible. That's like me on the football pitch, he is but slightly more polite. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I, I, yeah, no, no, he doesn't use the word rubbish. OK, I've got you. No. Yeah. And That's he'll be he'll be giving John Joe some stick out there. Pre-watershed like, summary of the conversation. It's like sledging. It's Paul's version of sledging. 
Well, it's been a fascinating afternoon, hasn't it? Well, fascinating still, because John Joe Sharkey's just time fouled and given Jordan Shepard two shots. He's gone from bad to worse here. Yeah, well, he, he wouldn't have actually played a shot with the clock being down to 15, would he, in the last no. couple of minutes? No, and he just about had the golden the break, the, the rack, the golden break, the rack. So, he, yeah, he would have perhaps been taken by surprise. Yeah. Because his break then went it off, so he wouldn't, have, he wouldn't have had the shot clock. That would be his first experience of the 15-second shot clock. Yeah. So he probably didn't realise he was in it. Only has to play this morning. Well, this will be 5-2, I'll say that now. 5-2 uh, in 19 minutes. And that will be the uh, the quarterfinal lineup complete. We'll show you that before we go off air on Free Sport TV. Makes it look so easy. Shade over 19 minutes for five frames to two win. And there we go. That's why he's the defending champ. And he played, well, he played one awful shot. Only played a couple of bad shots. He's just been completely outclassed by the Welsh Wizard. And that completes the last session lineup. The quarter-final lineup of the town shootout. Event number six in Newbury. Jordan Church against John McAllister first up. That'll be a cracker at eight o'clock. Next on, it's roll on, of course, roll off. The half an hour matches, we'll get them on as soon as they finish. Martin McIntosh through by the skin of his teeth. He will play Sean Chifferfield, money-making Craig Lakin, who dispatched a wild card Adam Penwell with relative ease. He's up against Liam Bullock, the only non-seed to make it through to the evening session. And then a real heavyweight contest right down the bottom. The bouncer, Simon Fitzsimmons, up against the defending champion, the Welsh wizard, Jordan Shepherds. We, myself, George Riley and Dan Davey, will pause and we will resume for the quarterfinals, semi-finals and final to find our town shootout champion here in Newbury. And we will be back with you at 8 o'clock. We'll see you then. <laughs>